As oil prices continue to go south, Russia has been at the forefront of trying to figure out whether or not some kind of action, like a production cut, could be implemented in order to support and stabilize oil prices. An OPEC official recently even stated that it's all in the hands of the Russians now. So could Russia be holding a powerful card here? We think Russia is a wild card because if you look at 2015, they really surprised many analysts by being up several hundred thousand barrels. And the question for this year is, are they going to be up or are they going to be down? If they're up again this year, everyone's going to have to take their oil price forecast down. What I think is interesting now is you are for the first time getting some Russian producers, principally Look Oil, coming out and saying, you know what, maybe we should consider cutting production. But some say it's much easier said than done. I don't really see Russia being the one that's more willing to cut production on its side. And you have a lot of disagreement amongst Russian energy firms as well. Several analysts we spoke with say Russia's role in a potential oil production cut is really just a sideshow and that Russia is simply just trying to talk up the oil markets. Even if it does want to cut production without Saudi Arabia's cooperation, it would be all talk, little action, with geopolitics complicating things quite a bit. When it comes to Russia trying to compel a Saudi cut, there's a lot of distrust there. And I think the Saudis are going to be much more focused on U.S. production than they are in coordination talks with Russia. But some argue Russia has reason to do whatever it can to get other countries' cooperation, perhaps now more than ever. Like New York-based attorney Edward Mermelstein, who advises high net worth individuals investing in Russia and the former Soviet Union. The price uh, heading down into the uh, 20s is uh, going to impact Russia's economy even more significantly than uh, where it is today, which is uh, in dire straits. Russian President Vladimir Putin himself has admitted that low energy prices have led to dangerous revenue losses, since Russia relies on oil and gas exports as the main drivers of its economy. That, a rising ruble, and economic sanctions have caused Russia's GDP to contract significantly. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Dina Gosofsky.